So it's a lovely day in Bolton today, Monday the 8th of August. So today, just gonna do a little micro renovation on this lawn because we've not done one for a while, just in anticipation of the heat wave later on the week. So I wanna get a few products on. So stay tuned and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So I've got Ye old Faithful out ready to do a bit of a vertical scarifier perhaps, more of a scarifier really. So we'll do a double pass, get some of the rubbish out, a lot of leaves have fallen, a lot of detritus, a lot of bird muck has fallen over there, there's a few patches where we've got a bit of bird lime and it is actually a good fertiliser so it's gone really green, almost like a dog's weed actually but without killing the grass. So we'll, like I said, we'll do a double pass, then we'll see how it is, we'll just get the mower out, mow it all up, then we'll get some products on, so let's crack on. So I actually just wanted to show you just before we start them areas that I seeded earlier in the year didn't take very well and I was like why is it not took that it just seems to die and then they started happening over here and I was like well Christ what's going on so we got a patch there as well under there and then we got one over here and then I found out that they took on a dog the daughter's dog and what he's doing is he's weaning right on the edge which is all right I guess it's better than in the middle it's not what I'd like personally but it is what it is and maybe that's why not been as much in terms of videos this year here just because I've been concentrating on other places where we don't have this problem but in still been coming up twice a week cutting and everything I've just not done the videos but I just thought today we'd catch up here just in case we were wondering where we'd uh, gone with this one so a few worm cats knocking about and it's only August and that's uh, not a good sign because if they're coming already What's it going to be like in two weeks, three weeks? You know, the season could be ending shortly rather than uh, later on in the year as far as like all the quality grasses, uh, the quality lawns go in terms of keeping on top of them for as long as we can. So yeah, so let's just have a closer look. See, just a bit of like necrotic growth that needs to come out. A few weeds knocking about, they'll get ripped out as well. But in the main, quite happy with this area because this last year went all yellow, if you remember. Uh, but that seems to have uh, gone now. So let's crack on. All right, let me tell you something. The smell is absolutely beautiful. Bringing up all that um, thatch and everything creates a beautiful smell and it reminds me of spring. So even though we're heading into August and nearly at the autumn, all I can smell is spring. So if we have a look now what we've done, we can see we've created loads of grooves, lots of air space. And the good thing about a scary fire before you feed as well as a granular fertilizer is that it allows that feed to get straight through to the soil there so it can be washed in even quicker than just sitting on top of the leaf. So what we'll do now, you can just see up there, I've got the hay to ready to go. It's not that long, the grass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it twice. I'm gonna do it on number three first to pick up the majority and give the grass a little trim. And then once we've got the majority up, I'll then drop down to number two and give it its final cut. I'm gonna do double stripes. So then it's all ready to go for spraying the fertilizer. And then I've got the double stripes for spraying also because they're the same width as my nozzle uh, swath that that gives. So then we can then get the customer to water later on after an hour or so to get it all washed in. Also, what I wanted to tell you was when we're grooming, we're creating grooves to let earth through and let the water through and let the feed through, as I've just said. So what we don't want to be doing is throwing seed on, which is just going to bung it all back up. So no seed. If you've got patches like that and you want to give them a go reseeding, fine. But we've got enough grass here to produce a lovely sward after the renovation and in a couple of weeks, if not a week with this heat that we're going to get, you're going to see a great lawn back to its former glory. looking really good to me you'll think like what have you done you made a mess to me that looks beautiful looks like a factory reset just where I want it to be time now to get with some granular products so let's go and get that and we'll join you back around here in a minute so just having a closer look I'm quite happy with that I don't want to do I could go on with the cylinder but I don't want to do any damage at that top end because it's a bit damp because we've had quite a lot of rain last week um, so too much turning with the machinery you, you cause too much damage and 
as we get later in the year, the chances of it recovering uh, become even less, right? Because we're not in the spring now. We've not got three or four months to let it recover. Because in four or five weeks, we're going to be uh, like into September, into the middle of September, perhaps. Um, maybe the seventh or eighth. So we've not got that much time left now. So we'll just know when to quit. That's it. Time to get on with some granules now. And then what we'll do is we'll just come back Thursday, Friday as normal, and we can get on it with the cylinder then, knowing that the products have been washed in. And we're not going to pick any of those up. Like you would do it with a cylinder anyway, but um, just to make sure we'll get it heavily watered. And uh, we'll be good to go for our next cut. Okay, so I'm back with the rotary spreader today. Just it's a bigger area, a more trustworthy machine. So I've got my Equinox HD in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on at 29 today on this setting. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit and go on at a higher rate just to try it out, just to see what works best. But no, we're not going to any any danger because we're going to be watering it in. So there's no chance of any scars because it's polymer coated anyway. So let's do that and then we'll get on with some liquids. So that went on easy enough. Just remember on a circular job, you do tend to fly off over the edge. Um, and waste quite a bit. Also because we've got the stones on the edge we need to blow this off now because otherwise we're going to stain it when it gets wet with the iron deposits. So it needs blowing anyway because I've got all the grass on there just from mowing and stuff. So we'll do that now before we spray and then there's no chance of getting any of the water out of the tank on the path then um, letting those uh, granules get uh, wet so we'll blow first. Right, so we're ready to spray. I've just mixed up some stuff, just to hit it with everything I've got, just to show that there's no problem. So I've got Stella in there, I've got Galactic in there, I've got Grace in there, and I've got H2 going there. Stella is gonna give us a biostimulant effect, which is gonna get the plant working right, its roots to the bacteria in the soil and everything like that. So we've got our plant working right, we're gonna make the most of everything we've put on it. So we're gonna get more out of our granular fertilizer, for example. Got to put the grace in there, it's an antioxidant that's going to purge ethylene from the plant. What happens is when your plant gets damaged, it starts to produce ethylene. If that stays in the plant, it'll start to die. So what the grace does helps release that to help recovery. We've got the H2 going there to get the water in. It's going to make water in. We're not going to water less perhaps, but we're going to get more efficient water in because the water's going to go further into the ground. And then we've got the galactic in there just to give us a lovely green up um, as well. So let's get spraying. It's a lovely day for it. Hardly any wind, so this should be a pleasure to do. Okay, job done. Another video draws to a close. What we're going to do now here is just leave that sitting on the leaf till late this evening and then the customer is going to water it in later on. I know some of you are going through a horsepipe ban right now and it, life sucks for you, but I've got a video coming later in the week on how to get around a horsepipe ban legally, so I look forward to that. I had a drought four years ago and we had a horsepipe ban um, and it's not great, I know, but there are a few things that we can do. So join me then. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to Peter's and I'm going to catch up from last week's job that we scalped and do the back there. So let's get there and then we'll see you later on. But from here, that's it and we'll see you next time.